Nobody comes back late at night anymore. They have more security. The government noticed that they were moving into new areas. That's when things started to get out of hand. They don't belong here. They're spending so much money to keep them here when they could be spending it on other things. At least they're keeping them separate from us. A lot of bad things started to happen. They must just go. I don't know where they go. And they must just go. We're at the breaking point. People are living in fear. Why don't you just leave? How do your weapons work? I just want everyone watching this right now to learn from what has happened. Planet Earth, home to over six billion people. Today, our very existence is threatened by epidemics, climate change, and dwindling resources. But those are the least of our problems. Welcome to Zombieland. My mother always told me, someday you'll be good at something. I mean, I don't think she could have guessed that, that something would be zombie killing. What do you think? Zombie kill of the week? Close. But no cigar. Zombie Killer of the Week went to Miss Cynthia Knickerbocker. You gotta enjoy the little things. These fellas really let themselves go. Zombie Land. You guys want some Purell? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Officials have declared a state of emergency. What's happening? Better now. Have to be contained. Advise for the sudden drop in temperature. What you see is happening now. How many people do you think are still alive? In the world? Not very many. Why don't y'all come on the truck? You look at him again, I'll shoot you in the head. I don't think you killed a man in your life. They're gonna catch up with us. They're gonna catch up with us, and they're going to kill us. Everything depends on reaching the coast. I told you I would do. Because that's my job. 
used to be when the sun came out. Go, go. We're gonna die. They're not gonna quit. We are gonna survive this. Me? Yes! Peter already booked the place we went for that long weekend. So romantic. So romantic. She doesn't know she's on speakerphone. That's where you guys had sex for the first time, right? Wow. Marry him. Lock that tongue down, girl. So you're not gonna have a best man? Um, here's the thing, Zoe. Peter's always been a girlfriend guy. All his dude friends just fell by the wayside. Why is it weird that I had girlfriends? Nothing. We're just saying you never really had a best friend is all. Well, who's your best friend? Your brother, Robbie. What's up? He's about the coolest guy I know. <laughs> So what do I do? How do I meet friends? If you see a cool looking guy, strike up a conversation and ask him on a mandate. Okay, you know what I mean? No. Casual lunch or after work drinks. You're not taking these boys to see The Devil Wears Prada. Oh God, I love that movie. No, I won't. He just moved to LA. His mother says he's so excited to meet you. I really enjoyed this. Awesome. Yeah, he got up in there. Like tongue? A whole bunch of tongue deep in my mouth. I'm Peter Clavin. I'm the realtor. Sydney Fife. Hey, check out these two. That guy needs to fart. He does seem to be clenching. Watch the leg. Boom. He farted in my open house. He sure did. I'm thinking it might be a little bit small. Totally, and it smells like fart. Hey, Sydney. I could be in Venice by five. I could do that. This is a mandate. He's the most beautiful dog in the world. In your plastic bag? Or... Oh, no, I don't clean up after my dog. Damn it! How about cleaning up after your dog? You mind your own! <laughs> what the f***? Society tells us to act civilized, but the truth is we're animals, and sometimes you gotta let it out. Try it. Ah! Respect the process. Ah! Yeah, you feel better? Yeah. Wanna get a corn dog? Yeah! Let's go. So what do you guys do for seven straight hours? Yeah, Pete! So is he your best man? It's way too early to tell. Sweet, sweet hanging. Truth is, I've been a girlfriend guy, but out of all those girls, you're the only one that wanted me to have my own life. It's like one of the most romantic things I could ever think of. What's up? Come on. Hey, geek! I just stepped in your dog's crap! <laughs> Mr. Jax, I was wondering if you'd made any decision regarding the assistant manager's position. It's between Stu and yourself. Stu Rubin, the new guy? Stu's someone who's not afraid to make the tough decisions. I'm perfectly capable of making the tough decisions. I'll let you know as soon as I decide, okay? Will you help me? Please. Okay. We have an elderly woman asking for an extension on her mortgage payment. We would have to throw her out of her house. We've already granted her two extensions. It's a tough decision. Your call. Another extension is out of the question. Where will I live? I'm really sorry. Never have I begged for anything. But now, I Mrs. have been. I Mrs. Before Mrs. Gennett, you, please. I beg you. Please let go. Please let go. Security! Soon it will be you who comes begging to me. Someone has cursed you. He's the Lamia, the most feared of all demons. For the first three days, the spirit torments its victims. After that, it will come to take you. Take me where? To burn in hell for eternity. It's coming for me. Please listen to me. There is nothing coming for you. How do I get rid of this? I welcome. You can give the curse away. 